everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, out here today at Take Aim Training and Range, and we're here to bring y'all our next video all about AR calibers, and what is the perfect caliber for you? And we've got an assortment of rifles and pistols laid out here in front of us, and let's just go ahead and hop right into it. For those of you that don't know, the AR-15 is actually chambered in all sorts of different calibers. Granted, it was originally intended to shoot the 5.56 NATO cartridge, or 223 Remington, uh, but since then, let's just say that platform has expanded expanded a lot. And today we're going to talk more about the common rifle calibers that are out there, uh, staying away from larger bores like 458 SOCOM or 550 Beowulf and all the other ones that are out there, right? So we're keeping it relatively small, right? So <laughs> the highest calibers we're going to be talking about are 762 or 30 cal, uh, but the smallest one, of course, is going to be your standard 556 or 223 we've got some m855 loaded up in the magpul mag here and we've got it paired today with the knight's armament sr15 which i'm still building up if you guys uh, are new to the channel you know that i'm eventually going to give this rifle away once i'm done playing with it and drooling all over it but uh, we've got it paired right now with the vortex gen 3 1 to 10 and i am really loving this optic so far i got a b5 system stock on it but this is knight's SR-15. It is a, what I'm definitely going to consider a high-end AR. Now, we all know that the 5.56-223 cartridge uh, is adopted by the United States military. The 5.56 specifically, again, green tip M855, is still what we are commonly issued. And it's a great cartridge. It shoots well and was originally adopted to replace the M14, 7.62 NATO, right? They figured, hey, if you can carry more of it, and it still has the same type of capacity that the 30 carbine cartridge does as far as it's a uh, terminal effect on the target, then all right, cool, we'll take it. But what's great about it is it's light recoiling, it's a fast moving round, coming in at right around 3,000 feet per second out of a 20 inch barrel. Out of a 16 inch barrel, like you see right here, it's probably dropping down to about 28, 2900 feet per second. We'll just take a couple of shots on still and just see how it feels, all right? So yeah, it shoots great, and the cartridge, again, that 5.56 NATO cartridge, guys, it's just fun to shoot. And it is a very effective cartridge. We do have videos out there about how effective is 5.56, 223, the two rounds compared to each other, but I think you guys know mostly about that caliber. So let's just go ahead and finish this magazine out, and uh, let's talk about a caliber we haven't heard much about. <laughs> oh man, that never gets old. All right, so next up, we've got something a little bit different. So you might be looking at this and be like, oh, we're gonna talk about a 762 by 39 AR. Well, no, we're not. This is actually 6.5 Grindel. This is 762 by 39. They both fit, feed the same type of magazine. People tell you, you know, you gotta watch out when shooting 5.56 and 300 blackout, don't get your mags confused because that could lead to a bad day. Same thing with the uh, 6.5, 7.62 by 39. Very similar, but not quite, right? Now, 6.5 Grendel came about in the early 2000s, designed by the same guy that started Alexander at Arms, and it's really supposed to be that middle ground between 7.62 NATO and 5.56 NATO. So, <laughs> It's interesting looking because it's definitely a skinnier projectile backed by a lot of powder on that cartridge there. This is a 100 grain projectile versus the 62 grain that you see coming out of the 5.56 M855. And it's moving at anywhere between 27, 2800 feet per second. So what we've got it paired up with today is the Fostec Lightning. This is a sweet rifle, all right? And it comes with a 20 round mag, but we got these Dura mags that are 30 rounds. Figured we'd go ahead and take a couple of shots with it. So before we did the how effective is 6.5 Grendel with Matt, I actually wasn't too knowledgeable on this cartridge. And uh, this is actually my first time out shooting one, so let's see how this thing shoots, especially with this rifle. Woo! All right, so you can definitely tell that you're firing uh, <laughs> a little bit more powerful cartridge, that's for sure. The recoil on it, it isn't bad by any means, but it is a, substantially a little bit more, well, that doesn't really make sense. Let's just say, it's a quite a bit more than 5.56 five, and what I noticed there. Granted, this is also only a six, seven pound rifle, so that might have something to do with it. Ooh, 
Oh man. First off, this rifle feels great from Fostech. Looks fantastic. But that uh, 6.5 Grindel round, wow, that is super cool. Now, something that's really cool is Serbia, uh, where Zastava Arms is out of, is actually looking at adopting the 6.5 millimeter Grindel cartridge to be now their primary cartridge in their new M17 rifle by Zastava Arms. Go <laughs> take a look at that rifle. It's a very interesting one, that's for sure, but it is looking like that might be their new primary firearm for their military, which is pretty cool. So 6.5 Grindel, like I said, is supposed to be that cross between, or that middle ground of 7.62 NATO and 5.56. So it's supposed to have a lot better ballistics than the 5.56 down range. And even at a, from what I've read online and done my research with, apparently it has better terminal ballistics and actually has better penetrating capabilities at a thousand meters over the 7.62 NATO, which is pretty interesting if you ask me. So 6.5 Grindel is definitely a cartridge out there. If you're looking to reach out a little bit further definitely check a look at the 6.5 Grindel and then we've got one 762 by 39 because you want to scream America on the outside in your AR but you're still still just a Soviet bloc lover when it comes uh, to the insides right so here we are this guy is also our current giveaway this is the maximum defense PDX 762 by 39 pistol and I am all about this guy. Let's shoot this some. But before we do, some people might be saying, you know, why would you even want 762 by 39 in the AR? It wasn't designed to shoot 762 by 39. Well, the AR wasn't really designed to shoot a lot of different calibers that are available, but I can tell y'all that it's actually a lot of fun. If you want the, I guess you could say everything this cartridge can do out of the AR platform, then you get a 762 by 39 AR. Now, also too, there's I don't want to say a misconception, but I think when people actually go out there and build their ARs chambered in 762 by 39, I've seen some reliability issues, feeding issues, and I think it might just be quality of parts or also to uh, the quality of the work done by the end user. So whenever you're out there building it, make sure you are using good parts and uh, make sure that you know what you're doing, all right? Let's take a couple of shots with this guy here. If you already saw our giveaway video, you've already seen it in action, but who doesn't want to see it a little bit more, right? Oh man, that thing roars with that five and a half inch barrel and the hate brake muzzle device. So 7.62x39 is the world's most popular caliber. Billions, if not trillions of rounds produced since you know the SKS came about, the AK-47 of course. Uh, but guys, it's a very popular round. It's a very effective cartridge, especially inside of 300 yards thereabouts. And you can even reach it out a little bit further. And a lot of people like to think that the 762 by 39 just isn't an accurate cartridge. Well, I am here to debunk all that all day. It is a great cartridge. And just like you can get some base cheap 223556 that might not have a boat tail or anything else like that to it, you can actually get some very decent 762 by 39 ammo and engage targets at 500 yards and uh, be pretty effective with it. So don't hate on 762 by 39. It's a great cartridge and it's a lot of fun coming out of an AR platform rifle or pistol, which is what this guy is here. Again, our current giveaway, which we'll talk more about that in a moment. Last up is uh, probably one of my favorites for when it comes to close quarters, and that's 300 Blackout. 300 Blackout came to the market. Uh, its sole purpose was to be shot close quarters and silenced or suppressed. All right, and uh, <laughs> you know, let's just go to talk about this really quick. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to have a video out there debating, discussing silencer versus suppressor and what that's all about, all right? So first off, we've got the Nemo. This guy right here, this is the Battle Light pistol. Notice this is a SBA3 pistol, and I've got a Yankee Hill Titanium 30 cal can on it, and I do love to shoot suppressed, all right? Let's go ahead and take a couple of shots with this guy really quick, and uh, just show you guys what all 300 Blackout is about. We are running, I think it's, uh, it's supersonic ammo, so it's not subsonic, but that's all right. Let's take a couple of shots with it. My target dropped. <laughs> Let's just take a couple of shots out here. 
Well, now you can actually appreciate how quiet it is because compared to 556, 65, 762 by 39, all of that being shot unsuppressed, you can definitely hear the difference, right? <laughs> that is way too much fun. So 300 blackout, I think is the ideal cartridge. If you're, you know, Texas, right? Hog hunting, things along those lines, because you have that 30 cal cartridge that you can keep nice and quiet. And if they are nocturnal, and let's say you're going <laughs> low visibility, you have night optics, things like that, that you're running with, then you need to be able to have a flash suppressor on your gun and keep that flash mitigation as, as mitigated as possible, right? So yeah, running 300 blackout, keeping it quiet, keeping it nice and flash suppressed is the way to go. And honestly guys, it's just a lot of fun. You know what else is a lot of fun though? Our free guns, right? So, so I'm gonna go back to our 760 by 39 here. This is the Maximum Defense PDX. That is our current giveaway. I wanna know from you guys, is it the 762 by 39, the 65 Grindle, the 300 Blackout, the 556 traditional AR? Which one is best for you? And why? Let me know down in the comment sections. For me, it depends. It depends all day, every day, what I'm using the gun for. If I'm gonna be out hunting or distance engaging targets, then you know what? I think I might give this 6.5 Grindle a couple more shots and try it out. It also has an adjustable uh, brake on it, or excuse me, adjustable gas block. So I'd be interested to play with that some, see if I get that tuned just right as well, and see if I can actually mitigate the recoil a little bit more, and maybe even try this guy suppressed as well. Uh, but again, 5.56, five, that is just what the common cartridge is that the AR was originally chambered in. And it's typically plentiful, but during this Amogeddon age that we're living in, it's, I know, it's crazy, guys. By the way, if you are on our website checking out what we do or may not have in stock, uh, first off, thanks for visiting. And if you see something you like that we don't currently have in inventory, make sure you're signing up for our product alerts or notifications. The moment that that switch gets back turned on to in stock, you will receive an email and you can go ahead and make your purchase, all right? But anyway, while you're at our website, don't forget to get your entries in for the Maximum Defense PDX Chambered in 762 by 39. All right, uh, this guy is a lot of fun. We're pairing it with the EOTech 120 round mag. Already comes with the Radian Raptor Ambi charging handle, the hate brake, and the SCW pistol brace on this guy. And it becomes a nice compact firearm. Look at that guy. That thing is sweet. And coming in at just under six pounds with the EOTech mounted. And of course, the ALG Defense Advanced Combat Trigger. This thing is just freaking cool. I love it, and I'm super happy that we at Classic Firearms are able to offer this guy to y'all as our next giveaway. So again, head to our website, get those entries by hitting that top banner. It'll show you all the different ways to get your entries. And one of those ways is a code word that gets you like 400 some odd entries, so don't miss out. Code word is Maxim, M-A-X-M-A-X-I-M. Don't miss out, guys. I'll see y'all down in the comments section about your favorite AR calibers. God bless, and we'll see you soon.